Hey guys, so today I am doing another room decor video and I have some just really simple, cheap and easy ideas so I hope you guys enjoy watching. This first one is definitely the most inventive one out of all of them. I've just got a frame from Big W and some acrylic paint of the colour of my choice so you can choose whatever you want and I'm just mixing it up to get my desired colour. After my paint was mixed, I just got the frame and took out the back and the glass and started painting the front bit of the frame with my paint and a sponge just to give that kind of not perfect effect. <laughs> As you can see, I am only painting the front of the frame. Once it's dry, you just want to grab the piece of paper that it comes with and double-sided sticky tape and just stick that to the back of the frame. Then taking these paint cards of my choice from a DIY store, they're just free so you can grab as many as you like. I'm then just going to place them onto the frame in the positions that I want them before I stick them down. Obviously everyone's different so you can do this however you like. Popping the frame back on after I've stuck them on and this is what I end up with. It's actually an organisation board or a goals board or a to-do list. It can be whatever your heart desires. It's just so cool and innovative. You can use liquid chalk or whiteboard pens to write your goals or to-do lists onto the paint samples. I just think it's really cool and creative. Like I said, this is just an idea of mine, so you can do it however you like. You can use different colours, you can use a thinner frame, anything you like. I wanted to redecorate my room slightly, so for this one, I'm just taking down the Polaroid string behind my bed and replacing it with some DIY bunting. Obviously you can do this from scratch but this DIY bunting kit is from Typo and it's so cute it comes with so many different patterns and it's really really cheap so if you don't have any time and you're a student then this is perfect. Look how many colours and patterns. Choosing my design I just went ahead and put those on the piece of string or twine. This was a really long piece of string so you can cut it to however you like. Seriously, how simple is that? DIY bunting without having to get messy and yeah, it's cheap. It's easy and it's fun and I love it so much. It really goes with the new colour scheme of my room. For this next one, I'm taking recycling to the next level and I'm just grabbing some spray paint and an old vintage Coke bottle that I just found in the recycling and I'm just spraying it with the gold paint. You've probably seen this all over YouTube and Pinterest. Literally, all I'm going to do is now use it as a vase in my room with some fake flowers. It's really simple, but again, this is all about finding easy, quick and cheap DIY. So I hope you guys like it. This next one is so simple, but it's my favorite. Just taking my favorite book at the moment, I want to just add a little bit of fun into my room. So I'm just taking a print out of the OKs from The Fault in Our Stars. I'm going to stick it on a piece of card with some glue, and then I'm just going to cut the card out. And then I'm simply just going to stick it onto a piece of string and just put it wherever I want in my room. So I didn't know whether to put it on my door or on my little collage bit. So you can just do whatever you want with this. I just love the Fault in Our Stars. I'm seriously obsessed. <laughs> And that is it for my really easy, cute, simple and cheap DIY. So if you are just going back to school and you have no time, you can have time to do these. They're really, really simple. So I hope you guys have liked it. I love doing this video and I will see you next time. Oh, thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.